Ready, Eddie? Yeah, I'm coming. All right, there we go. Morning, everybody. Uh, as you can see, everything's changed. Uh, well, I'll say everything. We've done a lot. Um, we've got... We, we, well, we changed about twice when we were doing this roadway in. A couple of times, actually. Um, but as you can see, we've got the roadway in now. We've got access to the field via the roadway. The road bends around to where the car is at the moment. Um, we've also bend around two, two, two ways, around this little greeny area, which we will talk about shortly. Towards the main area, where we can drive through for the silo. Um, we can drive back down here, one towards the greenhouses, and towards the new shed. Yes, oh yes, we have a new shed. The old one was dilapidated. Cost us a couple of grand to get rid of it, believe it or not. Um, there was asbestos in the roof, so we had to get a specialist in for that, uh, unfortunately. But that being said, it was dilapidated. It needed to go. It's gone. In its place, we have this beauty. 15,000 euros. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the final price. It ended up going up to nearly 20... Was it 21, 22,000? Um, Something like that, yeah. Yeah. We decided to do it ourselves at first. One, the leveling wasn't very good. Two, we bent one of the struts. Don't ask how. It was hilarious. Um, let's just say, Eddie said left. I went left. He meant his left. I thought my left, and I hit it with a dozer. So that had to be replaced. We ended up getting an action. Yeah, we ended up getting an actual team in who finished building it for us. They leveled out the ground properly. They um, even installed a drainage gutter, which we didn't think of at first. Um, the downside is we were meant to wipe this down with brick acid as um, like two days ago. We never did. Uh, and now we can't get this off. It's stained all the way across the back, which is our own fault. There's not a lot we could do about it. Um, that being said, it looks lovely. All oh, the rain is coming down now. Look at that. That started quick. It's not too heavy though yeah um we managed to get a load of grass seed again you can see where we've planted the grass seed or where we've thrown it all and it's taken very very well and places where we didn't put nowhere near enough so we've still got a lot of empty green area that needs more grass seeds however we're broke <laughs> we are beyond broke i think we got about that's a beyond broke uh, well, I've got about two euros in my pocket. I think that is literally our cash flow. Um, yeah. And there's more to this because Jack gave us a hot tip. There is someone who owns some land very close to us that's got it up for sale at a very reasonable, um, let's, let's be honest, dirt cheap price. It's fixed. There is no negotiating to be had. However, we need money. So the idea is we're going to the bank this morning to try and get a loan so with that being said let's um let's get going shall we all right you jump in you got the keys let's go hey this door's locked you're gonna be opening it open it up yeah ellie there you are yes, there we go let's but, go um yeah we have a problem what's wrong you know the other Day we said we needed to get diesel, but didn't have the funds to. Oh, cack. We've got no fuel. To the point of the truck won't start. Uh, but, like, no, we are. So, we've got out. no fuel. Um, we're going to have to. Uh, no, we can't walk down there. We'll be completely soaked. They're not going to take us serious. What about the tractors? I oh, will get soaked on the tractors. Mine's open canopy. Yours has got a cover, but you'd still get soaked driving down there. I've I, only I, got one option. What's that? We can't walk. No. Other than walking, we have to siphon the fuel out the tractors. Whoa, whoa, we have to really get whoa, some whoa, 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 whoa. Siphon. Do you know what happens when you siphon fuel? It goes in yeah. one's mouth. <laughs> I have to do well, What other way have we got? Oh dear. I don't, have we got a bucket? Inside uh, somewhere. No, I don't know. That blue bucket got broken. Uh, do you know what? I've got an idea. 
what if we use newspaper as a funnel? Because I've got newspaper inside to pour it in to the truck um, and use a cone upside down as a bucket. Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Uh, let's you're it down. Let's get this are, done. Are you, are, you, are you siphoning? Yeah. All right. I got, I got the cone. All right. Let's, I'll just go. Let's do it. All right, that should... Uh, I think that's everything. That's the last lot I had yeah. in that cone. That's what? 20 of them now? Oh, hang on. I'll just phone that right in front of the door. Uh, let's just put that over here for a minute. There we go. That's about 20 of those cones in. That is literally everything drained. What we got? It starts. That's Over good. Half tank. Three quarters of a tank. Is it still going up? We should have almost full, I'd imagine. Oh, is it stalled out? Yeah, it, it will do that. I think you just give it... It just takes a while for that to get through properly. There we go. There we are. Right, we've got about half hour till we have to get to our bank appointment. Um, I'm not exactly sure where it is. So, we're going to head on down into town. Hopefully, find a bank. See you down there. Uh, do you know, I stayed pretty dry as well. It weren't too bad. I didn't think, I, I, didn't think, I thought it was going to get a lot wetter than that. Uh, yeah. but my overcoat's done, done a good job today. Here we go. Uh, there's not really parking around here, is there? Oh, through there. That must be par parking on the right. Oh, we made it in time. At least that's something. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Uh, this door, isn't it? Yeah. Right, remember. Where are you? Remember. Um, everything's great. We've never had any problems. Just blag it as much as we can. <laughs> And we'll see you guys in a minute. Let's go. Well, uh, it didn't go as well as we thought it would, did it? No. Um, it's only a small issue, really, per se. We need to come up with a name. We need to name the farm. And we have to do one thing that we didn't want to do. And that's uh, agreed to put the farm up as collateral. Uh, apparently our tractors and our equipment are not of a condition to the value of the uh, the amount we want. We're not asking for a massive amount of money, to be honest. But, yeah, it's something uh, I suppose we should. Um, in the meantime, we do have a job at the Brooks's to complete for them. Uh, so harvesting their sunflowers. So that shouldn't take too long. So we're going to get down there and get that done as quick as we can. Here we go. Uh, should I just, where should I put it? I'm trying to think now. I'll, I'll put it in front of here. In case it starts raining again. Then we've got somewhere dry to get in the motor. Right. There we go. I'll guide you down for the header, mate. So, yeah, we're back at the Brooks's. We've got the sunflowers to try and harvest. Um, we're not going to get the ones that are growing in the rocks, that's for certain. Whee! Um, ah, it's tucked behind that one. That's going to be awkward. You'll lift that up out of the way. So, yeah, whilst we're, uh, we've got that to do, um, the downside is if I bring you over to the field that we seeded for them, it's dead. Dead as a dodo. Um, it's not because it wasn't harvested. Um, yeah, a, a beetle got in and basically just destroyed the crop. Um, it's a it's a common thing that happens. These beetles will come in and just literally kill the crop. And you'd think you'd be able to just go and spray something on them and kill them off, but um, no, not apparently not. Apparently we cannot do that because it's against the regulations. Um, so yeah, wheat beetles, I'm, I think commonly known as, but um, yeah, they've, they've killed the crop, that's dead. So apparently this is the second year in a row this has happened to them, uh, which is quite a, quite a shame. Um, but in some respects, I'm glad it's this side of the river and not our side. 
um, which is why they switched to doing sunflowers in this field. Mm. And it doesn't seem to have touched this field at all, which is great. So Eddie's going to get cracking with that, and I'm going to run and grab a tractor trailer so he's got something to unload into. Uh, and then I suppose we will uh, find where they're going to want it stored. Yeah, okay, Mr. Brooks, it's no problem, friend. Yeah, we'll do yeah. that for you. No worries. I'll cart it down in myself. All right, uh, what, at the end? Yeah, I'll get rid of it. No worries, mate. All right, <sighs> at the end. Oh, I'll see it, yep. Yeah. Oh, a bit heavier than it looked. It's a bit heavier than it looked. I just gotta get this chucked away for him. Shouldn't take me two seconds. Oi, nope. My throwing skills are awful. There we go. Alright, that's that done out of the way. I suppose Eddie will Oi! He'll call me when he needs me. Where's he gone now? Oh he's down at the bottom. Is that him? Nope, that's a car. I've lost him. I'll find him again. No worries. You on comms, Eddie? Indeed I am. What do you think about New Hope Farm? That's quite nice. I like that. I'll put that down on the maybe list then. So, so far, we have Restudo Farm, which we... Do you know what? I think we can cross that one off. Um, we've got Lovable Farm. No, we don't like that. We'll cross that nope. one off now. Sunshine Farm. Farm. We'll cross that one off. Uh, Sunflower. Sunflower. Yeah, that's on the list. Uh, New Hope's on the list. Uh, Droodle's written down with loads of question marks all around it. We're not going to call this one Droodle, right? I like the hesitation there. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I want to, but I, I think the problem with calling this Drew is, yeah, it brings up some bad memories of the last one. And also, I don't know if we should put Droodle on the application just in case yeah. it flags anything up. I think that's probably the key thing there. So we'll cross that one off. So we've got Sunflower and New Hope at the moment. Um, we'll keep thinking for now, but um, they're the leading two candidates. Are you ready for me to tip you yet, mate? No, not yet, mate. I'm What's only the on 40%. About 40%, really? Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, I was worried about the level. Now, I'm going to come over towards you, though. Just so I'm in the field, just get a eye to eye of our... Yeah, cool, blimey. The yield isn't going to be great, is it? Let's have a quick little butch. There are some unwanted. Look at that. Pulling up through the centre there. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not what you need. I tell you what, this side of the river does not look very good. No. A few, con few contracts that we've done this side, eh? They've never yielded a great amount. Nope. Let's wait for him to get going. We'll put it alongside him and empty. Am I looking good on the lineup? No, yeah. over towards me. Really? I yeah, could have sworn that looked good. Towards me. No. There we go. Nope, you're at an angle now. We go back. No, just straight. There we go. We'll stop there anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll fill her up there. Mode. Yeah, he wants about 75,000 litres off of it. I um, think he's going to struggle for that, don't you? Uh, maybe. What's that in there? I didn't catch it before. I, uh, 6,000. Like, Might get another 1,500 if he's lucky. Alright. Well, I'm going to go take this down where he wants it. Uh, I'll see you in a moment, mate. No worries. 
Yeah, with the yield as low as it is, oh, I really don't think he's going to get what he wants. At all. Hopefully it's not going to drive him out of business. I mean, certainly we're not making any money off of this one. This is pure favor favoritism. He's helped us out. We're helping him out sort of thing. Plus it gives us time before we have to go back to the uh, bank later on this afternoon. It'll let them know which account this is going in. Make sure we're all the way on. Uh, 8,362. Not bad. I'll just text Brooks that um, for the first load. Uh, I've got to give him the cash at the end of the day. Apparently his account won't take it from here. Which is unusual, but apparently this is the best price for him to sell it direct at. So, oh look, there's ad, uh, Jack. Oh, is his car. I can't see Jack. But there's the horse. Walking around, stomping his feet. Oh, yeah. Now we know where the now we know where it escaped from. Alright, let's head on back. And it looks like I've got it just in time as well. And he's got like what one little tiny chunk in the centre to finish off. Uh hang on, let me switch comms back on. There we are. Eddie! Hello, mate. Uh, 8,362 that first lot was worth. Not a great deal for him. Not going to be happy, though. Uh, no, he, he, I, I sent him a message. He sent me back a, um, an emoji of not necessarily grumpy, but yeah, disappointed, that's for certain. Uh, oh, I no, am too sure. There's only 1,287 litres in here. Is that all that's here? left? 75. Yeah. Yeah, 7,500 is way gone. Never mind. Well, I'll get this last little bit done if you want to pop that away. And yeah. I'll see you back here in a mo. I think maybe I'll suggest to Mr. Brooks about changing up his strategy. Um, I think he'd be better off getting rid of his crops and going with a, a grass or a silage based crop calendar um, I think with the problems you have with growing crop this side of the river um, with the infestation of unwanted plants and the beetles as well that was savaged his first field two years in a row I think grass is a safer bet because it, it, it's a little bit more durable as well. Um, and yeah, it can sell it, it can turn it, tether it, tether it for hay, all sorts of opportunities there. But we'll get this last little bit done for him and and we'll go from there. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I got the message from him. It's all clear, yeah. No problem. All right, mate, thanks. Oh, that was unfortunate. Um, that last, oh, I bet... I better give Eddie a buzz on the radio. Uh, Eddie. Yes. Uh, that last little bit. Um, yeah, no income from that. Why? Uh, Mr. Brooks rung him up. He's cut some sort of deal with them. Um, they're keeping that last little bit. And he's buying some sort of mix for his cows off them. So... Uh -huh. No money to exchange hands. Uh, but he still he's made a, what, 8,000 odd dollars here, or euros. Uh, and I've taken a wrong turn to a dead end. Of course I have. Uh, there we go. We're going to have to back this back out into a main road. But it's quiet enough at the minute. Easily done. <coughs> yeah, so I'll have to drop that cash off to him. And um, you never know. Maybe he'll give us a little tidbit I doubt it with the amount of money he, uh, he's made off of that is not a lot not a lot at all no there we go back on the farm well on the brooks he's, there's any let's just swing this in all right a little bit left little bit left 
I, tell you, I do like the open view you get out of this back window. Pull that one in. Job done. Alright. Alright, pull round to the Brooksies. I go in and give them the cash. And it's bank o'clock again. Uh, yeah, you would do. I think we're going to main doors this time. Oh, there we go. Money exchanged hands. Eddie will be happy. Right, we're not completely broke. This is one thing. Yeah, uh, he let us keep the odd, what he called it, the scratch shrapnel change. So we got 362 euros out of that little, uh, that little bit of work, which ain't bad. Nice bit Don't of uh, earnings. Get a couple of jugs of diesel. Uh, yeah, we'll have to think of something, a jerry can's worth or something, because we've drained all the tractors now. Well, I think first things first, let's head to the bank, see what we can do there, yeah. and we'll go with that. Uh, we've got two... Uh, straight over. Yeah. I think you remember, yeah. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Car parks around the back there, innit? That's it, yeah, the car parks right in front of us. Yeah, I'll just try not to run over that gentleman. Right, so we've got two names that we can... That we, mm. Well, yeah. We're not 100% certain on stone on what we're going to use yet. We've got... Uh, is it Sunflower Farm and a New Hope Farm or New Hope Farm? They're the two we're going with. Um, we are planning on downgrading the amount we want to borrow. Instead of borrowing 100, 100 I think it was 115,000, we're going to go with 50. I think it'll be more that more likely for them to accept it. Uh, 50,000. You want to go 60. Well, we'll see what we can get. I mean, the, what we want is minimum of 34 grand. The field's 33,000 something they wanted, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. So anything above that is great because we're going to use it towards the farm anyway. It's um, how we go about structuring the repayments as well, uh, which is something we're going to have to keep an eye on. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, go, pay, well, let's go pay them a visit and... See if they'll pay us some cash. Oh dear. Here we go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I feel like I've just robbed the bank. Yay. I mean, well, um, we've got our loan. We are very, very happy. We're going to end it there. Um, we'll let you decide on what our name was. And we'll tell you what it is in the next one. Um, so, yeah, make your just sort of choice out of the two. Um, let's see which ones you would have gone with. And um, we'll let you know what one we've gone with in the next one, next week. And um, and you'll also find out how much we eventually got. You can tell that we're over the moon. So we've, we've got enough to get a new field. That's a guarantee. Um, we will be purchasing, purchasing that uh, over the next few days. Get that deal over the line. Um, we can now tell you... Now that we've got the money, um, or well, we'll get the money in the next day or two, now that we've guaranteed the money and we can guarantee the owner of the field, it is the field adjacent to our farm. Um, it is the field that literally backs onto our house. It's a big, long stretch of field. And if we can get the deal done pretty darn quickly, we can um, hire out a harvester or rent the one off of the... Um, Brooks's, if that turns out to be cheaper, uh, and we can harvest a field straight away because there is a crop in it, it is ready, and I believe it's soybeans. I think Eddie's taking you there now. Uh, it's this one just here on well, right in front of us. There, let me jump on out. Oi. So it will be this crop here. Um, I don't go in it yet because we don't want to spook anyone. Uh, but it's ready to harvest, yeah, it's soybeans. soybeans. Um, I'm hoping that literally a day or two is not going to ruin it. If it does, it's a downer. But as it stands, we can get a field for 30, I think it's 33 and a half thousand. Um, it's a big long field. We may make that back in this. 
the person in question hasn't come down to check on the field. Um, for some reason, they just want to. It's, it's the only bit of land they own in this area, so it's too far away from his farm. So we want to get this done quickly and smoothly. So until then, this is Matty G and Eddie here on the new farm um, that has a new name that you'll find out in the next one. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of days' time. Till then, peace out.